Can I sell charcuterie boards from home? And how do I start my own charcuterie business? These specific two questions we are gonna dive into. This has been one topic that I have been asked about for years now, and I haven't had a chance to do a video just yet. But in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how and what you can and cannot do from home. When it comes to charcuterie business, we're gonna get into that right now. All right, guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. It is Damien Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online, and I'm really excited to bring you this particular video about charcuterie business. Now, if you know what a charcuterie board is, of course, they are fantastic additions to any event. If you bring them to parties or if you make them yourself and bring them for family events, you probably get a lot of compliments from them, and people love them because they have a huge variety of items to snack on and eat in a very small little area of the charcuterie board. Now, putting them together is not that very difficult and it allows you to be extremely creative. But I had a question, actually multiple questions, from a lot of subscribers saying, hey, I wanna know for sure, is it legal to start a charcuterie board business from home? Now, this video is gonna talk about putting together and making charcuterie boards that have food on them. This is not about making an actual charcuterie board because that you can sell from home for sure. Most of them are made from wood itself, some type of special wood that you've got. You can sand them down, create different shapes, different sizes. This is a, this is a video about particularly selling the food products that are on charcuterie. So if you're looking for a video on how to start a charcuterie board business selling just the boards, then this is not the video for you. This is all about the food side of the charcuterie board itself. So let's dive into exactly what it means to make this from home and if it's technically legal. So if you're starting a home-based food business, of course, it falls under the cottage food laws, which every single state has in place now and implemented some form of home-based food business. And it has either some regulations, some very lenient. In Florida, for instance, Florida, you can start a home-based food business without even an inspection, a permit, a license, or anything actually, which is kind of interesting. But many states also dictate that you may have a permit or license or even insurance or even a business license. So charcuterie boards in general, and I have searched and researched and I know cottage food law is kind of like the back of my hand by now, most states do not allow you to make charcuterie boards from home and sell them because of the very fact of the ingredients on the boards themselves. Now here's the problem and here's where a lot of confusion comes up. Some of my subscribers who have emailed me said, hey, my friend down the street or my neighbor in my neighborhood, he's selling charcuterie boards all the time and he's never gotten caught and all this. It, it, to be honest with you, to do it legally, I highly recommend you not do what your friends are doing just because they are doing it. Because all it takes is that one time when you make a charcuterie board, for instance, and it's delivered and somebody gets sick or ill or a whole party of people get sick and you don't have a license, you aren't supposed to be selling it and you're not incorporated, you don't have an LLC and you are operating maybe a business on the side that's not necessarily following any local permitting or laws. And that is the time when you're going to get sued and you get sued as a sole proprietor. Guess what? You could lose your house, you could lose your car, you could lose everything you have because of that one charcuterie board and the fact that you wanted to make it because your neighbor now on the street is selling them out of his house. Trust me guys, there are some serious consequences if you get caught selling food from home. Number one, there's a state, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's Wisconsin, where if you do sell products from your home and you are caught, you can actually get fined and even imprisoned, yes, for 30 to 60 days or even have community service. I read a story about a company or a lady who was operating a business from home and found out that she actually got into some serious trouble when somebody did get sick and the health department found out that she was operating an illegal food business from home. So this is nothing to joke around about. Now, the reason why charcuterie boards are not allowed under cottage food laws is simply because of this. Most all of the items on charcuterie boards are timer temperature sensitive. Cold cuts, cheeses, grapes, fruits, vegetables, anything that has to be refrigerated or has to be kept at a certain temperature or even is time or temperature sensitive, such as time items, scenes that have to be made and consumed in a very short period of time. So for instance, if you made a charcuterie board and you wrapped it up and got it all presentation, all looking fantastic, and you had it out on the counter for a duration of time, and the cheese or the cold cuts or anything else there that could spoil or is time or temperature sensitive, and it stayed there for a duration of time, then you brought it to a party and everybody got sick because somehow it just formed bacteria, maybe the, the cheese was bad, potentially the cold cuts got too warm, whatever the case is, there's a lot of risk involved with making these. 
And if you're not doing it in a commercial kitchen and you're not licensed, you're not uh, inspected by some type of uh, agency and you don't have good business insurance, the liability is major on this. So my advice to you is to follow the rules and regulations and make sure that you don't start one unless, unless the specific city and county you live in allows you to do that. Now, here's the thing about cottage food laws. The states themselves will create these laws and they have a handful of foods you can make and you can't make. Now, I understand many of the people who emailed me and asked me about charcuterie board businesses said, hey, I don't see that on the list of what I can't make. And you're right. Unfortunately, the one flaw about many cottage food laws is that the list of what you can and can't make is not very thorough and not very specific. Most of it's very vague. So you're thinking to yourself, well, Damien, this sounds great, but I don't see where it says I can't serve cold cuts, cheeses, and these types of things. Well, many states do require you to have some type of training and also following certain guidelines at the state level. But as it trickles down to the city and county you live in, they have the ability to say, hey, you know what? You can't do this in the city or county. Then, so you need a commercial kitchen. Hey, you can't make that or this because it's in our city and county. You need to do it in the commercial kitchen. So the best way to do it to find out for sure in your county is to go to the health department or call your health department and ask them, hey, cottage food laws say this, this and this. But I live in, let's say, Los Angeles and I want to find out for sure. Can I not make or can I make charcuterie boards? Do you have a local ordinance or a local regulation that allows me to do that? That way you're going to be for sure understanding and knowing whether you can or can't. I really don't recommend food businesses as a side hustle if you're looking outside of what you can and can't make for cottage food businesses because you can get into some serious trouble. So my advice to you is you want to make sure charcuterie boards, great, do it, but only do it if it's legal and do it if your health department gives you the thumbs up. Because believe it or not, some areas you could, you can actually make charcuterie boards. Now, this video is not about every single city and county in the United States because it would be like a five hour long video. So my recommendation is this. If you want to make charcuterie boards as a business, go to the health department, contact the health department, find out specifically if you can or can't. Now, there are a handful of ways that you can make charcuterie boards that don't involve potentially hazardous food products because I've seen them with nuts and crackers and other types of carbohydrates, for instance, and shelf stable products, things like chips and other types of things that you can put on them. So there's a variety of other ways to get creative without actually doing cold cuts or cheeses and such. And I know that the bulk of charcuterie boards are actually made with those items, including crackers and other things that are shelf stable, but definitely want to find out for sure in your senior county. So can I start a charcuterie board business from home? The answer is no, legally you can't. And you want to also make sure legally that you can do it in your homeowners association. If you're in a neighborhood and you do have a homeowner association, the HOAs do have bylaws. And if you operate a business within a homeowner association and they don't know that it's there and you're doing it without any permission or at least giving them a thumbs up or thumbs down, they can also levy fines on you because that's what homeowner associations can do actually. So keep that in mind. And if you have any other businesses that you are looking to create for a moment, you're not sure about them, let us know in the comments down below. If you operate a charcuterie board business from home, and you were able to do that, please give us some comments or some feedback down below so other people who watch this video can understand what it takes to start a charcuterie board business from home. And I'll see you guys on our next video.